Well, let's begin. Are you taping this hearing? No. Let me ask you again. Are you taping this hearing? No, I am not. Nothing in your purse, on your phone? Would you mind if we removed your bag from the room? Have you had some time to pray and reflect upon your situation since we spoke? I have. Are you still upholding your temple covenants? Yes, but my interpretation might conflict with yours. Well, for example, are, are you wearing your garments? Uh, President Davis, are you asking me to tell you what kind of underwear I have on? Okay, let's get back to the matter at hand. Barb, there's still an opportunity for you to find your way back to the church. Will you repent? You know that polygamy is a misguided abomination. It's a shameful practice that has no place in the modern church. Was this hearing requested directly from church headquarters? Did you receive instruction? I don't see how that's relevant to your decision to live in clear, open, and deliberate opposition to the church and its leaders. I believe this is not just about polygamy, but about a certain letter that my husband helped to purchase for the church. I believe I'm being punished for trying to bring to light the truth that letter exposed about the practice of the principle. Sister Hendrickson, as our Elder Packer has said before, we all know that there's a temptation to tell everything, whether it's worthy or faith-promoting or not. Some things that are true are not very useful. Are you... You openly disparage my family, but you hide the truth about our history. And that's the reason you don't want this hearing taped? No, Barb. We sincerely want to help you escape this life. Don't turn against us. Will you repent? No. I love the church. I love it more than I can say. But I believe the church and its leaders are in grave error on polygamy and on the kinds of marriages and families it creates. I can't forsake my family. What will it serve you to have your family now when your eternal salvation is lost? Think about it, Barb. I have. Barbara Dutton Henriksen, henceforth your name shall be removed from the records of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. You will not be allowed to partake of the sacrament. The sacred ordinances that bind you to your family, your ancestors, and your progenitors for all eternity are severed.